In this video, we're going to be playing around with the SIG Cross in 308 Winchester. We have one, two, three, four, five different hand or er, factory loads to test. I've got some hand loads over here, which we may or may not get to in this video, but we're going to start by shooting some Burger 168 grain classic hunters. We're gonna play with some factory ammo and then we'll do hand loads more than likely in another video, but uh, we got five different loads. I tried to sight this thing in, but honestly it was all over the place. Um, I did clean this barrel before, or this, we'll say this gun, uh, before doing this video, so I wanted to foul it up a little bit, but I was just shooting some 150 grain SSTs loaded by Fiocchi through this, or Fiocchi, however you wanna say it, and uh, <clears throat> they were they were grouping pretty horrible, so hopefully that was just the barrel getting fouled in. I went ahead and set up the GoPro, so hopefully, I don't turn it into a pile of chips, but we will see. So um, we got a Trigicon Credo two and a half to 15 on here. Uh, Liberty Infinity X suppressor and a AccuTac bipod with a uh, protector bag. So I think that's about it. We'll go ahead and get started here. Got some worn rings on here. Um, hopefully this thing will group a little more correctly this time. We're gonna do three shot groups just to keep this simple and to try to keep the suppressor from getting really hot. This is a hunting rifle for me, so I don't necessarily need to go shooting 10 round groups with this thing, but let's go ahead and get started, see what this can do. Tell where that hit. Oh, I think it's high. Okay. <laughs> I should have just started with a fresh target. That's on me. All right. Let's send another one. Well, now that I can tell where the impacts actually are, that's the start of a good group. Well, the first two were close. I can't tell where that third one went, but we're gonna go ahead and move on. So those were the 168 grain Burger Classic Hunter. The point of impact was way high from my point of aim because I was aiming at the very center of the, I mean the, the center of the entire target. And I hit on one of the points that I would normally shoot at, but that's not where I was aiming. So. We're gonna go ahead and bring that down, probably a full mil. At least I have what seems to be enough of a group now to be able to, to do that. Oh, I can't do that because this thing's zero. Oh no, I don't have the tools to do this right now. Dang it, that's all I get for not bringing my fix-it sticks. Maybe I can. Oh crap. Well, that still doesn't work. Poop. Well, I'm just going to stay where it is. Right in between the lines. That is so aggravating. <sighs> okay, well, so much for that plan. Next thing we're going to shoot is the Hornady 150 grain CX bullet in their Superformance line. Due to the fact that I have no idea where any of these are going to hit at this point, because I can't get my... Uh, <clears throat> scope adjusted we are going to just move to the left and attempt to shoot another group here and hope that it's like still on paper this thing is really bouncing all over the place it's kind of Irritating. Oh, work with me. a really hard time with this thing 
the left leg is like picking itself up and throwing the whole deal off. So kind of getting difficult to work with here. Come on. At least the shots are still hitting high where we kind of expect them to be. The Mirage off the suppressor is already horrible. So that kind of sucks. Um, I am not taking velocities off this ammo because I can't change it. So whatever we get is what we get. And that's not necessarily what we're going for here. The battery's about to die on my camera. So I will take a pause here and change the battery so that you guys don't all of a sudden see nothing. All right, next one we are going to test is going to be the Barnes 150 grain TTSX. I really wish I could get these boxes open. That's always handy. Come on, get out of there. Uh, this is one that I was really tempted to use to hand load for hunting, for deer hunting. But I'd like to see, I'm seeing them weird head stamps on some of this brass. Like some of the Sierra ammo is loaded with Privy or PPU brass, whatever you want to call it. And this stuff's loaded with SIG brass or it's head stamp SIG. I'm just, I'm confused. I know that sometimes you just got to get stuff where you can get it, but it's, <laughs> it's getting pretty weird seeing everyone else's name on all of the <laughs> different <laughs> brass or uh, different ammos that we've been shooting today. I mean, it's, it's been pretty consistent. So I don't know, kind of weird, but anyway, we're going to shoot the 150 TTSX in their Barnes Vortex line. And I'm hoping this thing quits acting funny when I'm shooting it because the legs keep wanting to jump up on me. But we'll just make do with what we got. Hope for the best. Oh, that was a heavy bolt lift there. What do we got? What was that? Looked like there was an ejector smear, but it was... That's odd. It's not even like a... Normally with a smear, you get a pretty large surface that is dragged across the bolt face by the look of it, but this is like a really narrow drag line very very specific small spot i don't know it's it's i've never seen this before to be honest with you a little weird very unique but uh the group was not that bad considering the groups that we've put on paper through this gun they have not been um good as far as i'm concerned from the get-go with this gun i have not seen very much superb accuracy so uh that actually didn't look too bad as far as this rifle is concerned up to this point because i have a unique hatred for 308 and yet i've owned several of them i have yet to make any of them shoot exceptionally well i've got some of my other guns to shoot just lights out and didn't have that hard of a time getting them to do it to be honest with you it was easy on several of them but this one or rather this cartridge hates me it just for some reason i've had a really hard time from day one trying to get any 308 that i've ever owned these say sierra by the way uh more barns ammo mind you but uh 308 30 cal period we'll just say 30 cal has been the bane of my existence i've had a lot of 30 cals that just don't want to be my friend and i don't really know what i did to uh to make them hate me but uh i'm trying i'm giving it my best effort i can promise you that i have honest to god put way more time into it than i probably should and i've got a lot of friends that if they watch this video they will probably laugh really hard at that part because <laughs> it's like the the child that has just been extremely disobedient from day one and has just been a rotten egg and yet they, they continue to uh get more attention than they deserve which is kind of where i'm at right now with 30 cal so that being said we're gonna try to shoot another group 
with some Barnes Air ammo that says Sierra on the on the uh, head stamp. Sierra's got privy brass. Barnes has Sierra and whatever the heck I just said on the last ones. I don't even remember at this point. I'm already on to on to the next. My brain can only think about one thing at one time, and then we're already past that. But I know it wasn't. Uh, it didn't say Barnes on it. That's that's all I remember. So anyway, we're gonna shoot a group here. Pray to God that something good happens. This is, I'm, I'm getting so far off track. Okay, I might edit all that out because I've just been, I've been talking to myself for like the last 20 minutes. This is Barnes 150, wait a minute. Oh, I lied to you guys. Okay, so the last group was not 150 grain Barnes. The last group was 130 grain Barnes. I grabbed the wrong box. So the 130 grain Barnes was the last group that we just shot which is actually kind of cool because I wanted that to shoot good. Um, this is 150 grain TTSX. That was 130 grain TTSX. The one we were about to shoot is a 150 TTSX. I am so sorry, this is gonna be such a long video. Oh my gosh. I need to just take off the safety glasses and load all these things with tight group. All right, moving on to the bottom left diamond, which is gonna put them like hopefully in the middle of the target basically, but we shall see and shooting through all this mirage, which is phenomenal. Unless that shot went in the same hole, I can't tell where it hit. Huh, see? <laughs> Next one goes like four miles to the left. Okay, so we are getting pressure with some of these cases. I don't know. If it has something to do with the gun, but I've got some relatively f flat primers and uh, some worse than others, and some swiping with heavy bolt lift. However, we only have one group left to shoot for the day with factory ammo, which is going to be the Cutting Edge Maximus 150 grain bullet. I have never shot uh, any of the Cutting Edge factory loaded ammo. So I am curious to see how this shoots. Of course it's 308 so it'll probably shoot like doo-doo uh, because I it don't like me. But I'm very that's different. I'm very intrigued to see how these are going to do. It's supposed to be pretty good bullets and I've shot some of their bullets and did have some good results on paper but they were like way too expensive for me to continue shooting their projectiles because <laughs> I was like not prepared to spend, of course they're not all this bad, but I wasn't prepared to spend two dollars a projectile uh, for an extended period of time. All right, so last group we're gonna shoot is gonna be at the bottom right diamond, which means it'll be above the bottom right diamond. Unfortunately, I can't see anything because the mirage is awful. Um, so we will wait for this barrel to cool off just enough to where I can see the target and then we shall commence the firing. It always makes me nervous when I can't even see the hole. I see it now and it's like way off. I don't even know if you guys can see it. It's so far to the right, it's barely even on the paper. So we may not even be able to get this group on camera because I'm not going to go move the GoPro. Um, I only got two rounds left, so we're just gonna, we're gonna hope they all stay on paper. I mean, the last group, the first round went way right and the rest went to the left, so maybe they'll walk themselves back onto the, onto the target here. Let's find out. Well, I do not see a hole on the paper, which is not a good sign. Darn it. <clears throat> well, let's send one more. Cause why not? Wow! I don't have good news, that was horrible. Uh, it went way high. I, I'm assuming you can see that third shot. I'm not too sure that second shot didn't hit the right corner of that diamond, but I can't really see it from here. Um, either way, they didn't group good either. So, that concludes this video. Guess what? 308 and I still don't have a good relationship. I'm not gonna just go sell the gun. I will shoot more. 
and I will try to find something that shoots good. And then if it doesn't, I will sell it. Now, uh, good news is um, a lot of these were all copper bullets, which ironically is probably not gonna be what I end up using in this gun um, after thinking about it a little harder. That was my initial intent. I don't, I don't know that I'm gonna stick with that. I'm probably gonna end up going with a uh, typical cup and core lead, lead and copper bullet. So uh, most of these being all copper uh, kind of works to our favor because that's more testing done on bullets that I'm probably not going to pursue any farther, but that at least lets me know what they're going to do. I, I actually, I take that back. I do have some hand loads that I'm gonna try with all copper bullets and just see what they do with different powders just out of curiosity more than anything. But uh, that being said, if one of them shoots really well, I'll use it to hunt because I'm probably not gonna hunt that far with this gun anyway. But uh, I just wanna explore different options. We're, we're trying out stuff that I haven't shot before because I've shot a lot of different lead, uh, copper lead, you know, cup and core style bullets in 308. I haven't done a whole lot of all copper, so I want to try something different, but uh, I'm just rambling at this point. So all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Subscribe if you do enjoy this kind of content. It is, it's hard to reach out to even my subscribers because a lot of times they don't get the notifications. So hit the notification bell and do all that jazz. But um, check the links in the description of the video if you're watching this on YouTube for our website and other platforms that we are on. Um, you guys stay risen. Take care. Be safe. We'll see you next time.